Hey everybody, it's Pete uh, of XP Team USA. I'm out here in this beautiful area. Uh, it's fall, you can see the trees are turning colors. Behind me is a river. I'm on this old riverbed, and uh, I know some troops came through this area. So I'm trying to see um, if I can find any remnants. And I just took a musket ball, and I think I may have another one, so I'm gonna show you, because I'm in the middle of this muck. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, the, the river's never this low, so I thought it was a great opportunity to get out here. And this kind of looks like an old road almost, but it's where the river uh, comes up when it when it overflows in the spring, or when it floods. So uh, we're going to give it a shot and see if we got a musket ball here. But if there it is, that means uh, they made their way through here. Uh, I don't know if it's Revolutionary War, War of 1812. My guess is War of 1812, but um, there was a lot of activity through here, so... Uh, you never know. So let's uh, give it a shot and see what it is. So I'm out here. Here's the dais. Uh, I'm running an ultimate program. I'm in this real mucky, mucky stuff, like I said. Uh, I dug a musket ball. My first one over here, about six or seven inches deep um, in the mud. And uh, I don't have access to this a lot of times. So we're going to see what we can get out of here because it's uh, really, really low right now, as you can see. Uh, running an ultimate program. 13.8 kilohertz actually you know what I'll do I can show you what it sounds like here I think it's in this plug so there's a machine 83 84 85 and um, so like I said 13.38 or 11.38 kilohertz so 12 kilohertz um, and I've got it right here you got some wild ducks flying into the river behind me. All right, so let's uh, give this a shot and see what it is. I got the pinpointer on here. MI6. I just turned on the sound for you guys. Oh. Oh, can you guys see it? There we have it, right there. See it? It's another musket ball. There it is. Let's get her out of the her mud hole for the first time in 200 plus years. Yeah, sometimes you got to get out to these spots where you don't always have access to. So that's two musket balls in a very short space. So um, they must have been here for a few minutes. Um, and I have a really, really good feeling that nobody's ever had the opportunity to be out here. So let's uh, go see what else is out here. Here we got Amanda. The XP Deus Slayer, first day out here in the wilds of the north country of New York here. I gave her the high frequency coil and a shovel and said, have at it. So she said she's got something, but she says it's not very good, but I want to, I want to see her first signal. Absolutely terrible. Let's see what you got. Here you go. Wow. That, my love, is a plow blade. <laughs> and you're gonna find a lot of those so you know that. hey you know what <laughs> you know what not a bad first find but maybe we'll get you some I some... dug for way too long for this yep you usually do you usually dig way too long for stuff like that but hey you know what it's your first find put it in your pouch we'll get you on some good stuff okay I uh, stumbled upon something that I think is uh, War of 1812 actually I'm quite certain uh, I dug a real it's 1773 I don't know if I can get that to focus up. Maybe, maybe not. But anyways, it's a real, one real. And then uh, I just got a hole here that I dug uh, two musket balls out of. And we're going to switch it around so you can see that. And then, uh, and then I got a signal right on the surface right next to these musket balls. So we're going to see what that is. All right, so I'm still, I've got the, the dais out here today. I've got it running in uh, ultimate 14 kilohertz um, with a little high frequency coil. Um, and I'll show you. Here's the two musket balls I got right here. Uh, I think they're American, but it's hard to tell. But uh, they weren't very deep. They were pretty close to the surface, actually. Two in the same hole. And then I got a signal right on the surface. And uh, me being me, thinking that maybe um, this stuff wasn't dropped very deep, I'm just going to give it a go here. Oh, that might be my... A detector. Oh, I got we got here. Oh, I think we got a button here. Oh my god, look at that. 
That, my friends, is a full shanked pewter U.S. 6th Regiment War of 1812 button right there. That is incredible. So, I'm in this little spot. I'm going to keep going until I can't see. So, let's uh, hope the dais can sniff out a couple of more things um, before the night's through. We got Amanda over there. Say hi. Hey. She's got uh, a couple of lead sinkers. I, I've dug two or three on the shore here too. Um, we're pretty far up though. I didn't think people could get down here, especially with stuff like that in the middle of the river. But we're still on this riverbed. Um, I'm just going to show you the signal I just got on the dais here. Pick her up. Solid 85, 86. Let's get it from... Oh, it's 89, 87. Still running in that ultimate uh, program. I don't know. It sounds kind of big, but there's only one way to find out what it is. And right? it's muddy here, so I'm not worried about the holes. Tomorrow, or by tomorrow. By next spring, you won't even know I was here. Oh, I see rust in there. But that was a really good signal for something that's rusty, but... Mm, I see broken glass. It's probably a bottle cap. That's my luck. Top of a bottle. Pleasantly surprised. I think it's another lead weight. Wow, that's surprising. I saw that glass in here, right here. And I thought for sure I was going to get another or actually my first bottle cop out here but what do you got <laughs> i'm just getting a top of a can well you know what we can't all be treasures all the time well you'll find some eventually dear this is your first trip out this is amanda's first time metal detecting with the xp dais and i got her on the high frequency coil out here and we're just having fun it's a beautiful fall day here in upstate new york it's probably a good 55 60 degrees overcast I'm giving you a weather forecast here so um, we're just gonna keep uh, digging around because I said like I said I found those musket balls over there so it's a good chance there's some more around here those guys were uh, making their way through here uh, quite often so um, we'll just have to keep digging on to the next so I'm literally two feet away from where I dug those two musket balls and that six regiment button and I got this slamming signal here with the Uh, it's going to be high 60s, low 70s. Um, all I did was clear away the leaves. This doesn't seem like it's very deep either. It might be a piece of trash, but... There it is. I don't think it's very deep. So, we're just going to pull out some of this soil here. Oh, oh, we got another button. We got another button. Oh, it's another... I believe it's another eagle button. Yep, it's another eagle button. I don't know if you can see it on there. Let's see if I can. I don't want to go too hard. Six regiment, yep. This guy lost a couple of buttons. Full shankage. And look at that. I mean, I was only probably an inch and a half. I can't believe it. So I'm going to stick tight to this area. Whoever was here was losing stuff left and right. And I want to be the guy to find it. It's just on the edge of something I dig. Um, I've been digging a little bit of garbage here, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's see what we've got here, guys. Give this a dig. Trust the MI6 out here. Oh, I got another button. Full shankage. Oh, no shank. Lied. No shank. Another regimental. 
this one oh it's a different regiment this one is first regiment same type though it's got the eagle on it you guys can see that look at that thing it's beautiful amazing I'm still out here um, I've been out here for about mm, probably an hour and a half still using the dais still loving every minute of it um, it just gets through I can find these little iron patches and um, I'm able to pick out these targets amongst the iron um, and these aren't super super deep but that wasn't a signal that I would normally I mean it was a signal I dig but not everybody would dig that signal and they would have missed out on this amazing amazing piece of history 200 years in the ground I just got it